In 2013, the State of Nature report found that 60% of UK species had declined in recent decades. In Wales, one in six plants are considered threatened. Rectory Meadow, site of special scientific interest, supports the only known population of meadow clary in Wales and represents the most western distribution of this beautiful and rare species. Over recent years, the meadow clary population at Rectory Meadow had dwindled as a result of genetic deterioration. Uh, my name is Julian Woodman. I'm the botanist working for Natural Resources Wales. Today we're at the Botanic Gardens in Carmarthenshire. This is a project to help conserve this species. It has declined to a critical state. It is the only Welsh site for this species, one of 22 that's left at the moon in, in the UK. I'm Dr Natasha Devere from the National Botanic Garden of Wales. Rob approached us because he was very interested in trying to get management correct. Um, at a site in Wales which was the last remaining site recorded for Meadow Clary Salvia Pretensis. Um, it became extinct in the wild in Wales, but just before it became extinct, a small number of plants were taken to Treborth Botanic Garden in North Wales where they were grown on. If you think about like, a lot of animal populations, we have a pretty good sort of understanding that if relatives breed together, it's not a very good idea. Um, you can have basically genetic problems due to inbreeding. Now plants are a little bit more complicated than animals. Uh, with some plants, they can actually withstand that. They, they're able to self-reproduce and they can deal with a certain amount of inbreeding. Um, but other plants can't. Other plants, a bit like many animals, need to outcross with um, and not breed with relatives. Um, Salvia pretensis is one of those, so research which has been done particularly in Europe looking at the genetics of the plants has shown that if you don't have a big mixed population for the plants to breed amongst then they don't survive very well. That the only time you should ever try and reintroduce something is if you have solved the problems of why it became extinct in the first place. Um, and that's where the hard work of, of NRW really comes in here, um, because that's the most difficult thing to do. It's actually quite easy to, to grow up some plants, plant them back in, but if you haven't got the management right, there is no point doing it at all. So uh, the, the work that NRW has been doing on this is to look at the management of the site, look at how that can be repaired and sorted out so that if we put plants in, they're likely to be able to survive in the future. Thanks for making this happen because it really has taken a good few years of um, us growing plants along with Bristol Zoo and Treborth Botanic Garden um, and then lots and lots of hard work in terms of getting the management agreement in place. And it's basically that just keeping at it and just keeping that process going um, and keeping that dialogue open, particularly with the um, landowners and managers, which is really important.